science, uh, technology, engineering, and mathematics field. Uh, and uh, among uh, those, uh, of course, uh, that need to be in that uh, space are women. Now, the Central University of Technology in the Free State and the Provincial Department of Education hosted a lecture in honor of Charlotte Matlake. And the lecture was held mainly to promote STEM subjects at uh, primary and secondary school in the province. Here to talk to us about this, I'm joined by Bob Clady, the Acting Deputy Director General for Corporate Services at the Free State uh, Department uh, of Education. Dr. Clady, good evening and thank you very much uh, for your time uh, and joining us tonight here on In Focus. There has been an increased, uh, dramatic increase, if you want to say, uh, since 1970 uh, of women participating in the STEM field. However, those strides have leveled off uh, in uh, the recent years. What is the overall outlook uh, if you look at uh, uh, women, particularly their interest in the technical fields? Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Mdluli, and uh, to good evening to your viewers also. The, the overall outlook now in terms of the national uh, perspective in the country, and also if you check the continent and, and internationally, is that more women are beginning to participate in the, in the STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. And um, this lecture that we are going to have tomorrow um, in commemoration of um, our icon and hero, Mama Charlotte Matata, is also part of making sure that we increase the number of um, the participation rates in terms of the girl child uh, to, to, to take the science, mathematics, engineering, and technology subjects at school level, uh, you know, up to university level, even uh, as part of the fourth industrial revolution. So the numbers are increasing, and tomorrow's uh, event is also to make sure that we expand that uh, in terms of the more learners coming in, uh, especially the girl child, and women also participating in, in, the, in the STEM fields. Yeah. Expand speaks to the fact that you think you certainly can do better from the current numbers uh, that uh, you're experiencing. So what are the barriers to entry that um, uh, prohibit more participation uh, at, at the levels that you would require? The, the barriers to entry, this is uh, one of the, uh, the discussion points tomorrow to, to, to try and look at uh, how we can actually unlock and uh, uh, do away with those barriers. That will actually uh, make sure that more and more of our learners, uh, they, they participate uh, in STEM subjects, but also uh, participation is something else. Um, the second key part is retention, that if a learner chooses to, let's say, follow mathematics and science from grade 10, uh, when it gets into the FET stream at secondary school level, now up to metric or grade 12, that learner from grade 10 uh, must be retained up to grade 12 doing mathematics or doing science or technical mathematics uh, or uh, engineering graphics uh, design, uh, one of those particular subjects. Um, and, and, and some of the, of the barriers uh, that we are looking at is um, the issues around um, the resources that needs to be provided uh, to our schools with respect to uh, making sure that uh, more learners, they do mathematics, the support that we must give to our educators um, with respect to, to teacher development uh, uh, programs, you know, around the content knowledge of the subject matter, uh, but also um, the, to remove this uh, myth that mathematics and science is difficult because most of the learners, you know, when they approach uh, the last phase, uh, which is the FET phase um, of grade 10, 11, and 12, yeah. they, they, they say myth that, you know, you don't do mathematics because, or sciences because you're not going to do well. Yeah. And so most of the kids, they will start registering mathematics, for instance, at grade, at grade 10 and then grade 11. When he or she goes to grade 12, then uh, the learner drops uh, at a subject. Yeah. So, so we are trying to say that mathematics and science uh, is the future. And the, this lecture of tomorrow, we are asking, we are going to ask pertinent questions uh, that are going to try to assist us yeah. uh, to make sure that uh, we unlock all the doors and we remove all the barriers, you know, 
One step at a time. You, you, you're you talking of the capacitation of uh, the educators as well. Now, these myths or stereotypes, uh, they would like to call, uh, are about women abilities in, in mathematics uh, and technical fields. They start quite early. And what, what is the role played by educators? Many say educators underestimate girls uh, and their maths abilities, uh, encouraging them openly and tactically to, to take other subjects. You know, our, our educators, they're playing a very critical role, uh, uh, Mr. Mzuli. They, they are the backdrop, you know, of the education system. And um, collectively, you know, we, even from the primary school level, uh, they do their utmost to make sure that as many kids as possible, you know, they, they, they participate and they become successful in mathematics. Um, and, and, and we need to also support them. And this is part of uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, lecture uh, where we have invited our departmental heads, uh, which is the um, people who are actually heading the subjects, uh, uh, in this case, mathematics, science, HODs, or departmental heads, engineering, uh, departmental heads, technology, and so forth, natural sciences, and uh, we want to share with them uh, uh, with our experts to say collectively what is it that we can do to make sure that we support you as our educators uh, as the torch bearers of the education system so that as you go back and engage at a call phase with our learners that you you encourage as many uh, of them you create a conducive environment for as many of them to succeed you know in mathematics and science and to also create a space for them to have the self uh, belief that they can actually make it because that is the future. And South Africa, to be a competitive country in the world, in the continent, uh, we have to uh, pursue that uh, in line with our national development plan. DDG, I appreciate your time and thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, tonight, acting DDG there in the Department of Education in the Free State.